Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the just released a few minutes ago uh, the new Peppermint 7. Now uh, on first glance uh, it's a terrific looking uh, distribution as it always is. Um, very very nicely done the icons. If you look at the file manager every, everything is laid out very very nicely. Good color scheme. Um, they have changed and this is exactly what you see out of the box. They have changed the menu from uh, the LXDE to the XFCE whisker menu. And they're also using the XFCE panel. So that, in my opinion, improves the appearance and also improves the configuration options uh, available. Now, if you take a look at uh, system tools, uh, they have the Peppermint Control Center, and let's see, Preferences, Peppermint Control Center, which is nicely done. This is very nice. It gives you a lot of uh, configuration options. Window Manager Settings, Keyboard and Pointer, got Keyboard Shortcuts, Desktop Effects, which can be enabled or disabled. For example, if you uh, I'm not a big fan of the transparent windows. You can move more towards opaque, uh, and that's entirely up to you. They give you the ability to uh, configure that. And then, of course, you've got the advanced configuration options for window cycling, window focus, accessibility, uh, workspaces, and window placement. I usually like the window placement in the center of the screen. Uh, I usually put this on XFCE up more towards large, about 85. So um, the Peppermint Control Center is very, very nice. Now, uh, Peppermint uh, is a, uh, let's say, internet-based uh, system, but they do give you the ability to install whatever uh, programs you'd like. Now the out of the box, you get for accessories. Uh, there's a lot of a, a lot of uh, options here. Application Finder, all of the usuals, screenshot, terminal, wallpapers. For games, uh, let's see. They they have a, f a few games installed, uh, but you can also install Play on Linux and Steam. For graphics. Uh, Pixelar Editor, Pixelar Express, Image Viewer, Document Viewer. For internet, the uh, default web browser is Firefox. Of course, ICE is included, and ICE is a uh, useful program. You can create uh, single site browsers for the, uh, for the let's say, the social media uh, sites that you visit. For streaming sites that you visit, visit, uh, you can set it up for um, your Windows Office online. You can set up um, icons for Microsoft Word, Microsoft uh, Excel, uh, if you're using a Microsoft Office. So that makes it a lot easier to get to those programs once you need them. For Office, um, there's a document viewer, Google Calendar, Gmail, Google Drive, and of course you can you can install whatever Office suite you'd like. Um, if you prefer WPS Office, which is what I prefer, or um, LibreOffice, you can you can install GNumeric and Abbey Word uh, to keep it simple. So it's entirely up to you. Now Peppermint Seven um, and Six, the philosophy was. Uh, issue the distribution with minimal software and give the user the option to install whatever they need and that works quite well. Now for sound and video I installed GUVC View, Kazam, OpenShot and SM Player. Pulse Audio VLC, uh, Pulse Audio EQ and MPV Mo Media Player those were included and system tools, you've got the usual um, synaptic, of course. There's a USB stick formatter, an image writer, 
Uh, so you've got the tools that you need to be able to do whatever it is you need to do within your operating system. Now this, this uh, distribution has been so highly anticipated that uh, the website, uh, I had difficulty getting through to the website. Uh, it is on DistroWatch, that's where I saw it. Uh, the, the website was, I believe, overwhelmed briefly, uh, but now it, it looks like it is accessible. And if we go through a couple of uh, Peppermint 7, uh, it's based on Ubuntu 16.04, lightning fast, lightweight, uh, new features. As I mentioned, it's using the XFCE panel and whisker menu. Um, we've also tidied up system settings with a new Peppermint settings panel. And of course, the SSB, the ICE application for your SSBs. The Peppermint community, the forum, has always been responsive. If you install Peppermint 7 and you need help, uh, it really, it's, it's super easily to access. And the uh, community over at Peppermint, they are always willing to help. Uh, LXDE Core Session Management is still utilized for lightness and speed. So it looks like they've included everything that you could possibly need and you can add those things that you uh, have a need for that were not included out of the box. Uh, it's very, very nicely designed. Um, I may make a few changes, but Peppermint always does a great job visually. The, uh, the distributions are always well thought out and very, very nice. So that is the first look at Peppermint 7. Uh, I am going to leave it installed and use it on a daily basis and uh, see uh, if anything develops. I don't expect any issues. It's based on Ubuntu 16.04. It's using the uh, XFCE panel and whisker menu, uh, but the uh, all of the uh, operating system, the the uh, sections of the operating system that uh, use any type of memory or uh, processor that is still LXDE so it should be extremely lightweight uh, again very very nice guys I hope you enjoyed the first look at Peppermint 7 I highly recommend it as I always do uh, please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon Take care.